NASA, like the other great explorers of American history, has a long tradition of venturing into the great unknown. Opening new frontiers is always a risk. But following the trails blazed by NASA offers our nation tremendous opportunities to solve the problems of industry and to expand American commerce here on Earth. The people and facilities of NASA Glenn Research Center's Lewis Field in Cleveland, Ohio, and Plum Brook Station in Sandusky, Ohio, have helped to take the United States over the Burma hump, past the sound barrier, and out into space to the moon and to Mars. They continue to provide basic research and expert guidance in adapting the breakthrough technologies that keep America's industry and university researchers on the cutting edge. The unique in the world suite of test facilities at NASA's Plum Brook Station simulates the environmental conditions a spacecraft encounters as it leaves the Earth, travels through the upper atmosphere, and out into space, or lands on faraway planets. Testing components, component technologies, and even entire spacecraft here on Earth to understand how they work during the intense vibration and deafening noise of launch, or in the extreme heat, cold, and vacuum of space, helps cut costs and keeps expensive spacecraft and valuable cargo and personnel safe. Welcome to K-Site. Three things make this chamber special. First, the door is almost as big as the 25-foot sphere that is the chamber itself. Second, using a liquid hydrogen cold wall, we can get the temperature in here down to 430 degrees below zero. Third, it's the only chamber of its size that you can get dirty. Perfect for lunar dust experiments, experiments on planets like Mars and Venus, and asteroid discovery. The Cryogenic Component Lab, or CCO, is a new state-of-the-art facility where NASA researchers can conduct high-energy testing of rocket engine or other space system components. We have the ability here to provide large quantities of high pressure gases and cryogenic liquid or even densified slush versions of nitrogen, oxygen, and hydrogen. And we use these things to recreate the extreme temperature and pressure conditions that a part would see during a space mission. The hypersonic tunnel facility is unique. It is the only te propulsion test site in the nation that can be used to match flight conditions up to seven times the speed of sound with clean air. From the perspective of an engine being tested, it is 20 miles in the air, flying at up to 4,000 miles per hour. But the hypersonic tunnel facility in infrastructure is very versatile. It can be adapted for rocket testing or rocket nozzle testing, materials studies, or even high Mach number aerodynamic studies. The Spacecraft Propulsion Research Facility, or B2, has a very large vacuum chamber designed to house and test upper stage vehicles at near Earth orbit conditions. These thermal vacuum conditions can be maintained for very long or indefinite periods of time, simulating long duration space exposure. B2 also provides the only place in the world capable of firing a full size rocket engine while simulating the cold and vacuum of space.
The Space Power Facility has the world's largest space environment simulation chamber. It's a vacuum chamber that's 100 foot diameter by 122 foot tall. Nobody's built anything close to this size anywhere else in the world. We use this chamber to simulate the vacuum conditions of space as well as the very hot and cold temperature seen in space. We're currently preparing the facility to do testing of the Orion spacecraft. We'll be simulating the extreme mechanical vibrations that the spacecraft sees during launch as well as the acoustic vibrations that it sees on ascent to orbit. We'll also be testing the electrical systems for electromagnetic compatibility to ensure they all work well together. Ohio has a long tradition of helping our nation expand its horizons. Ohio's early settlers pushed the boundaries of our land westward, just as Ohio scientists and inventors have pushed the front line of technological innovation forward. Like Orville and Wilbur Wright, Neil Armstrong, John Glenn, and many other Ohioans, the people of Plum Brook Station are driving the cutting edge of space technology up into space and forward into the future.